Why hello my fellow apes, I hope you are well. This is going to be a bit of a weird video to make, but I'll try and be quick. I want to address a particular accusation I receive whenever I make political content, and especially since making my trans series, that being that I've discarded my rationality and bent my knee to the woke. Until recently, the most amount of hate and refusal to listen to my position that I've ever received occurred when I made a video expressing my views on trans athletics. I argued that what matters in sports isn't gender, but rather physiological factors that correlate with testosterone. Now, despite admitting to making mistakes and vowing to correct those mistakes, mistakes in a follow-up video, which I did, and to be clear, my views on athletics are still based on physiology, not gender, the extremely loud and toxic fringes of the trans Twitter community labelled me a violent transphobe, and even bombarded an ex-Muslim event that I attended to such a degree that the organisers received more accusations of me being a violent transphobe than all of the apostate complaints they received for every other speaker combined. Needless to say, ex-Muslims get a lot of hate, and so the organisers were staggered by how many people warned them of my violence. But now, it's the other side that's evidently unable to actually interact with what I'm saying, choosing instead to accuse me of bowing to the enemy. The comments on my own videos, let alone comments on videos from other creators, reveal that the vast majority of people writing and liking these comments haven't watched my content at all. It's also incredibly tribalistic and dogmatic. It's frankly religious, to put it bluntly. I've also received several responses in video format, and there are indeed some constructive comments, and you should know that I intend to respond to many of these. But today, I want to address perhaps the most popular claim and sentiment going around, namely that I've bent my knee to the woke, and in doing so sacrificed my rationality. I really can't stress enough how common this accusation has recently been thrown at me, and yet it reveals that the people who are saying this haven't watched my videos, because if they had, then they wouldn't be saying this, because it's patently false. If you actually watch my videos, you'll know that my view is certainly not the view that most left-leaning people have, let alone the fringes of the left. In fact, I'd argue that while my view is certainly pro-trans, the foundation of my view is actually opposed to the foundation of the most prominent pro-trans position. Many, perhaps even most pro-trans groups, champion the self-identification view of gender, but as I've made clear in my videos, videos that people are evidently not watching, and as I've argued against Forest Valkai, no less, I find the self-identification view untenable. Now, here's a question. How can it be that I'm bending my knee to a community when my view is in opposition to what that community believes? Am I magic or something? The answer is simple. I'm not bending the knee, but rather people who are, ironically enough, deeply upset about being labelled and dismissed are labelling and dismissing me. And to that, I say, well done. You've become what you hate. What we're seeing here is pure, unadulterated tribalism. People are not even watching my content and then condemning me. They're complaining about being labelled and dismissed, all while labelling and dismissing me. It's fucking genius. So, this is just a quick one to address the current popular accusation of me bending the knee to some leftist or woke altar. It's nonsense, and yes, deeply frustrating to see people suggest that I don't even believe what I'm saying, or that my views are merely an adoption of others in order to score social points. The fact of the matter is that if you're looking for someone who speaks honestly and cares very little for dogma and tribalism, even within the groups that he wishes to be accepted by, then Rationality Rules is, and has always been, the channel for you. If you disagree with me, but stick around to hear me out, that's a good sign. It shows that I've cultivated a community where we can disagree. But if your position is, oh, wow, look, I disagree with rationality rules on this one topic, and so I'm not going to watch the video, but rather like the comment of some dimwit who also didn't watch the video, and then I'm going to unsubscribe, which is, indeed, what a few thousand people have done, then you are part of the problem. I am not someone who bends the knee. To the contrary, I have no more bridges left to burn. I am broadly pro-capitalism, and yet I'm socially very left. This isn't a combination that wins me friends. I am an outspoken atheist, and despise many religions, and yet I will correct atheists when they make philosophical blunders. You know, like I just did, calling out Richard Dawkins. This doesn't make me any friends, because I'm going against the tribe. I'm going against the community. 
I am even a vegetarian for crying out loud, which gets me hate from vegans and omnivores. I have never been someone who sides with a community because I want to be part of that community. I have always been a lone wolf, and as much as I've wanted to find a community, and as much as I enjoyed having it for a very small amount of time, I gladly gave it up the very second I smelt the stench of tribalism. So please, if you're going to criticise my views, then criticise my views, but do not accuse me of bending the knee to your opposition. I bend the knee to no one, and I mean it when I say that I stand on an island with no bridges left to burn. Everyone else has already burnt them. Believe me, I have had plenty of times where I have considered not publishing content because I know that it goes against my general audience's beliefs. I put it out anyway because I value truth and conversation, and I've done this despite fully recognising that by publishing my thoughts I damage my career, my patronage, and my presence on YouTube but I did it nevertheless because I'm forever in pursuit of the truth, and I have not, and will never, allow these things to compromise my resolve. It's said that a principle isn't a principle until it costs you, and I'd sooner have rationality rules financially collapse than bend my knee to some tribe, and that includes the tribe of Dawkins. I adore Richard Dawkins. I love him for what he's done and all of his contributions. Yes, I don't agree with him on everything, and yes, I don't think he's particularly sharp when it comes to philosophy, but one of the things he installed in me is not to fall into this tribalistic mindset. And so what have I done? I've practiced what he taught me. I've criticised Richard Dawkins. I've explained where I think he's gone wrong. And if you think that I'm mistaken in my assessment, then let me know. But it isn't good enough to label me as woke and not actually interact with my views. That is no better than labelling an atheist as a blasphemer and then getting on with your life. It's not good enough. Now, it's a bit weird having to make a video like this, but when your reputation is being tarnished by tribalism and misinformation, what are you going to do, huh? It's mesmerising to be reminded of how so many people are so petrified of hearing views that they don't agree with that they'll insist upon only hearing these views through the filter of pure confirmation. Anyhow, as I said earlier, I look forward to responding to some of the more constructive objections that I've received, but here I wanted to put to bed this vapid nonsense. And with that, I'll get back to work. I've got more snowflakes who accuse everyone else of being snowflakes to trigger. 